Media personality Anderson Cooper has created a stellar career for himself as one of the world's most trusted reporters. Hailing from a successful family of artists based out of New York City, in his younger days, Cooper spent time in countries like Kenya and Vietnam while studying to become a member of the CIA, but he ultimately decided to shift his focus to journalism. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After establishing himself as one of the preeminent forces in his industry, Anderson would carve out a beautiful life for himself in his native city of New York by securing one of the city's most unusual and unique homes. Anderson Cooper doesn't just live anywhere in the Big Apple, instead he lives inside of a converted firehouse. Originally constructed in 1906 and located in the heart of Greenwich Village, Anderson paid $4.3 million for this building in January 2010. Boasting four floors, a gorgeous turn of the century brick facade, and more than 8,200 square feet of space, Anderson wasted no time totally reshaping this building from the inside out. Whereas at one point this building looked every inch of what you'd expect from a big city firehouse full of red and yellow paint, when Anderson and his now ex-partner Benjamin Mazzani first moved in here, they ripped all that down to bring attention to the original stone and brick as well as terracotta details. But the Emmy winners stopped short of ridding the home for all of its former utility. For instance, Anderson decided to keep the fire pole as well as the original spiral stairs cases and all the exposed brick throughout. The thing about this place is that images of the interior are often hard to come by. We're pretty much kept to what Anderson has chosen to share with us on social media. For instance, one of the areas of his home that he's been excited to show off is his historically accurate early 20th century gym setup styled after equipment that would have been used by actual firefighters back around the time that this building was first constructed. Soon after making the purchase, Anderson would gush about it to USA Today in 2011, telling them, I just bought the old kind of weights with big large balls on the ends. Back then there were gymnasiums, climbing ropes in the ceiling, it's an old firehouse, so I want to keep the old fireman's gym. Another area of the home that Anderson has been keen to reveal is his son Wyatt's nursery. Wyatt was born in April 2020 and as soon as he was on his way, Anderson had one of the rooms in this home converted specifically for his use. I mean, it's a pretty adorable setup to be honest, with baby blue wallpaper and several fluffy stuffed animals, one of which has special significance to Anderson, a Snoopy doll with a connection to his late brother Carter. He explained to People Magazine, This is my Snoopy and I loved him so much, I used to hold him by his neck all the time, so his neck's kind of loose. And he's actually wearing a t-shirt that belonged to my brother. I remember at the time, I was worried that Snoopy was cold, so I asked my brother for a t-shirt and I cut it to fit. As adorable as that area of his home is, one section that might be a little less so is Anderson's library, which according to him, might very well be haunted. Hey, no place is perfect, right? Other photos that he shared online suggest that Cooper's home contains decor such as a bunch of colorful rugs that Anderson's dog Lily loves to lounge around at on all times. And this place is full of gorgeous historical antiques that turn it into the closest thing possible possible to living in a New York City museum. But the best look we've ever had of the inside of Anderson's pad came from 2015 H&M commercial that he filmed in the comfort of his home alongside David Beckham and Kevin Hart. Not only do we get to glimpse at his spacious living room, bedroom, and rooftop, we also get to see the stars utilizing that historical gym setup firsthand. But if you think Anderson Cooper's New York City home is special, just wait until you get a load of his summer getaway. During a romantic vacation to Brazil in 2013, Anderson Cooper fell in love with the town of Trancoso, located in the state of Bahia, on the Atlantic coast. So much so that he decided to build a home there, one that would soon be known locally as Casa Anderson. The village is about a 14 hour journey involving both a plane and a lengthy car ride from his home base in New York City, but according to Cooper, it's worth every minute of the trip. He once told Architectural Digest about the immediate impact this town had on him. Within a day, I was fantasizing about buying a house there. To immerse himself in the native lifestyle, Cooper found the perfect designer, local real estate expert Wilbert Doss. At the time, Doss had already been living in Brazil for seven years after resigning from his role as creative director for the clothing brand Diesel. With Doss's assistance, Cooper secured one of the area's vacant lots, a long strip of land dotted with a lush assortment of mango, jackfruit, and banana trees. 
The two then devise the compound of four pavilions set along a path that begins on the border of the town square and ends in a stunning stretch of rainforest. The first cottage is colonial in style and contains the home's conjoined living and dining rooms, as well as the kitchen and a veranda for enjoying outdoor dining. Two center buildings act as guest bungalows, one made of brick, the other of wattle and daub, a process in which clay is layered over a wood frame. The last structure is tucked away near the pool, and it's a two-story treehouse composed of reclaimed timber planks that holds the master suite above, as well well as an outdoor living room and bar below. As for the decor, it's a mix of vintage finds, items from Doss's home design collection, and pieces crafted by local artisans, all of which reflect Anderson's love for authentic furnishings tied to the rich tradition of the region. The one downside is that, with the trip being as long as it is, Anderson doesn't get to visit nearly as often as he'd like. But that doesn't mean he doesn't keep a little bit of this special place with him wherever he he goes. He told Architectural Digest, In my New York office, I keep a picture which I find very meditative and calming. Just knowing that my house exists makes me happy. Well, lucky for him, he's got more options than just his summer getaway because Anderson Cooper also owns a charming retreat in Connecticut. In 2014, Anderson Cooper bought his biggest home of all, a massive 10,127 square foot Tudor Revival, originally built in 1910 for an estimated price price of around five to nine million dollars. Originally designed by Wilson Ear, the founder of Housing Garden, this three-story building, historically known as the Rye House, is located in the plush suburban town of Bantam, an area home to many big-time celebs like Oscar winner Meryl Streep as well as a whole bunch of others. Here, Anderson's estate is situated on 48.9 acres of land that includes Japanese gardens, lush landscaping, scenic biking and hiking trails, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and access to Bantam Lake as well as Lake Waramog. So yeah, if you're looking for outdoor adventure, this place has it all. When it comes to the interior, this is not only Anderson's biggest home, but perhaps his most extravagant, boasting fully restored fir and oak flooring throughout, nine hand-carved limestone fire places in a marble staircase. What's more, the mansion contains 10 bedrooms, 6 bathrooms, 3 powder rooms, as well as a den and office suite alongside a 28 foot long dining room, as well as a 39 foot long living room. There's also a spacious kitchen, which as you might imagine is equipped more like a 5 star restaurant than a private culinary space. And if all of that isn't enough as an added bonus, the property also features an additional four bedroom guest house on the premises. It's unclear exactly how much time Anderson spends here, but considering it's much closer than the 14 hours it takes to get to his summer retreat, something tells me that he vacations here more often than he does in Brazil. Either way, the man has choices. And when there are options like these, what more could you want? All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks for watching today's episode, and before you leave, consider answering the following question. If it took the better part of a day to travel to your summer getaway, would you consider the destination worth the trip? Let me know if you have the patience, Anderson Cooper clearly does in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to never miss a video. My name is Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.